this is Punchy's bathtub with all his flowers dried there. His coat's hanging there right where he left it. And this gorgeous hussy that he likes so much is still standing in the bathroom. As you can see, it's 70 degrees in my greenhouse. I have all manner of things in here. I started approximately 100 plants in here in March. Some of them made it, some of them didn't. some of my notes from Punchy's funeral out here. And of course, I do all my garden planning and as you can see, here's my stacks of little stuff I see, the jars that I keep different things in. Heidi may recognize some of these hats we come across here. I had a girl, breast cancer from Chicago. I didn't really expect her to live. She was visiting me. She fell in love with my little denim hat with the poppies on it. One of the last things anybody ever gave to her. Her husband left her as soon as he found out she had cancer. He's a doctor too, by the way. He ran away and left her, just abandoned her. Her family abandoned her because they were afraid of cancer. They thought they'd catch it. I gave her my poppy hat. If she survives, she'll come see me again next year. If she doesn't survive, she'll get buried in her poppy hat. Strange how things work out in life. I have so much to be grateful for. How Dad's able to write such beautiful stories in this crowded little room is amazing to me. But he does. He lives in his head. He doesn't live in a house. He doesn't live on this table, any of these places. He, he lives in his mind. And the result is that we collect typewriters too, you know.
I think I'll start painting again this winter. What would you like? It's either under, over, in. It could be anywhere in this desk. We have things in this desk that we haven't seen in months. On the other hand, it's always like going for a treasure when we find things. It's exciting to live in our house because you never know what you're going to find. You may not have it today, but tomorrow it'll be there.